bridges, in hallways, street corners, bus stops, community centers, schools, libraries, and transit stations. It is in these places that she weaves her own wondrous tales from childhood memories, old wives' tales, fairy tales, cultural and historical influences. It is in her world that she has perfectly curated a space between the whimsy of a childhood coloring book and the sophistication of her experience as an educated Black woman in the 21st century America. Governed by a vibrant palette, her work considers the stories of Black women in the South, a contemporary take on biblical principles and philosophies of empathy in order to diffuse a spirit of curiosity, wonder, and nostalgic comfort to empower all around her. Traversing a space of multiple mediums, she adheres to her bright, bold color palette, bold black outlines and thick textures. She can be found working in oil, acrylic, aerosol and in graphite and charcoal. Ashley diffuses apparent contradictions by finding connections between the primitive and the sophisticated, black and white and color, reality and fantasy, spontaneous and the intentional. Her work has the soul of a child, but the intuition of a trained fine artist, it is no wonder she gathers people from all walks of life. She credits her ability to tell stories and connect themes using symbolism to her former teacher, Mr. Stephen Prince, a renowned printmaker and her texture and color palette to Barnett P. Honeywood and William H. Johnson. She seeks to not just take the spectator back in time to a more simple place, but to experience the purity of a child's heart and help us remember the things in life that used to make us smile. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Ashley Danielle Thomas. Dobson. Thank you so much for that introduction. Oh, you're more than welcome. And secondly, we have Mr. Emmy Marshall. He is a self-taught abstract painter and a native of Atlanta, Georgia. His creative processes is organic and spontaneous. He uses unconventional tools to paint with. Examples include string, table mats, and the list goes on. What emerges is an integral language that is both emotional and personal. The unique human experience of color is what inspires him as an artist. The need to express himself without words and know that inspiration is a never ending journey inspires him to produce more material. His work is full of optimism and motivation. Emmy enjoys the freedom of creating abstract as there are infinite possibilities. There are no rules, I simply make my own. He is interested in self-love, change, growth, and personal perception. In 2019, Emmy was one of the selected artists to showcase in the LGBTQ art showcase in Mayor Keisha Lance Bottoms Chamber, chamber in Atlanta City Hall. In 2020, Emmy's work was featured in the UNICEF Next Generation's Atlanta Art Party. The event raised $82,000 to bring clean, safe water to Guinea. Emmy is currently creating Colors of Love, an abstract collection on large canvases inspired by the many facets of love. Please join me as we welcome Emmy Marshall. Thanks for having me, guys. So glad to have you both. Both let's let's get started. Let's get started. I have a couple questions because one of the things I'm excited about is we actually get to ask you questions. Um, I am I've loved art, but I don't really know how to see it, appreciate it, and how the process actually works. So my first question is for Emmy. Can you tell us more about your creative process? So my creative process involves, my biggest inspiration is color um, because color is a unique human, experience, uh, unique human experience. We all see color differently. Uh, so I'm always challenging myself to use different color schemes. So I will look at different artists work. I will go to Home Depot, I will pull color swatches, I will see uh, inspiration in fashion, and then I'll get home um, and 
and get to work. I paint in my room, uh, one of my rooms. So I paint on my bed uh, and generally like I have a, like a cover that goes over the bed, paint on that. And then a painting generally takes me anywhere from one to a few days to finish. Um, and I'll say, I say that because some days I haven't painted in one to two weeks. So I'm really, really, really motivated to paint and it'll just come out right away. Uh, some other times, uh, some paintings are, uh, I'll paint, I don't like it, repaint it, repaint it again. So when you, when you are purchasing original artwork mm -hmm. um, directly from the artist, you are getting you know, tons of work put into it, tons of hours, you know, mistakes. Um, and sometimes some beautiful work comes from mistakes. Um, so a lot of times it's hard to recreate uh, some of the things I've done. That is amazing. Now I'm glad that my daughter wasn't here me near when she said you painted on your bed because that would be a long conversation. We'll say this is for, save that for the professionals. Um, <laughs> Ashley, um, I have a question for you. As a matter of fact, as I was driving this evening, when I sent you a text message, I was driving in the West End and I looked to my left by the Goodwill and I was like, wait a minute, that is Miss Ashley B. D. on the wall. Um, because like you said, it was the bright colors. And I knew when I saw it, that that was your work. So my question to you is, what was it like the first time you saw your artwork publicly displayed? Um, I apologize for the background noise, you all. So I have not taken a vacation in like three years and I've just been painting, painting, painting. So today I'm at Disney World, but I, I, the first time I saw my work, um, it, feel, it still feels surreal because I still feel like I'm just a kid playing in paint, but I guess I'm not anymore. So it feels kind of strange, I guess, but exciting, you know, to, to see your work in Home Magazine and on the sides of buildings and, you know, even to this day, I'm like, did I really get on that list and do that in 40 feet up in the air? Like, it's still exciting to me and it's a dream come true. So it makes me feel like, wow, this started in the elementary hallway, <laughs> you yes, know? Yes. So it really feels fantastic to know that people not only love your work, but they are posing in front of it or send it to their mom or their grandma and, you know, saying, hey, they got you up here on the wall or, you know, it makes you feel really good. You all, I will take a moment of personal moderator privilege and um, be fully transparent. Ms. Dobson was my children's art teacher. And um, when she talked about the elementary school hallway, I would walk down, when I would go to the school, I'd find a way to go, walk past the art classroom because there were these murals and artwork that truly captured my attention. Um, one of the pieces had, she made a mural out of paint chips. So Emmy, when you talked about Home Depot, it was my child, literally my child, but with paint chips. I don't know how you all do what you do, but um, the inspiration is amazing. It is amazing. Um, Emmy, let me ask you this. What is your greatest personal achievement as it comes to your art? My greatest personal achievement, I would say, is the ability to keep going. Mm -hmm. uh, that is a that is a something I live by. Um, so many things happen happen in life, um, and it's so easy to give up and stop and all of that. So I'm always preaching to my friends and anyone that I'm inspiring uh, to keep going. Yeah. That is, I think we can That's apply hard. that with art and yeah. life. And yes. I, I took my, I had to pull my pencil out on that one, Emmy, and take a little bit of some, of some notes to say, absolutely, just just keep going or in finding Nemo, what do they say? Just keep swimming, um, just keep going, just keep pushing forward, um, life yeah. imitating art, art imitating life. I love it, I love it, I love it. So. Can either one of you talk about the scope of your work on our current social and political issues? Do they inspire you? Do you use them to create a message for your patients or um, folks that like your art, your artwork? So can you guys, I'm not sure, can you guys hear me? Sure. Okay, so um, 
my work kind of, uh, it has a lot of uh, themes that are politically and socially motivated, but more so community motivated. I think it's um, in this generation, it's very important that we don't lose the connectivity between uh, generations, races, and, and genders is that it's very important for us to not lose the history behind our communities, but also to highlight some of the young folks who are really becoming trailblazers and carrying that torch of the civil rights um, movement that came before us. So a lot of my work really just kind of, to be honest, it wasn't um, on purpose that I did a lot of um, civil and political activists, it was more so to um, highlight those in our community and what's going on in our community that is positive. So that is more so um, where I stand. And it, and actually that's what I did in the school. In the school, I would, I would paint pictures of my students, high school, middle school, and elementary, those that were struggling and improving or those that were just outstanding or, right. you know, teachers. It always gives people a boost to see themselves out of their normal everyday routines. I mean, do you have anything else to add? I saw a lot of agreeing going on there. Yeah, so my work, I did want to speak on civil rights, one second. But my work has always been full of optimism. Um, I live by it, so I feel like my work must be a reflection of, my, of me. Um, so I'm always reading self-help books, watching sermons, uh, and really uh, motivating myself. So that comes out through my work. Um, I did want to speak on civil rights because during the pandemic, uh, I had an idea that I brought to life. And during the pandemic, um, with everything on the news and the riots and everything, I started watching a lot of civil rights um, documentaries because I felt that oftentimes uh, we take for granted all the work that uh, civil rights leaders put in um, before us. So I created um, a series of collages and um, they turned out to be some of the best sellers that I've ever created. Um, and they're very dear to my heart. Uh, they can be seen on my website. Um, so I felt like that was my, um, that was me giving back to us. Amazing, amazing. Speaking of giving back, what mm -hmm. would you tell a young aspiring artist, someone that has driven by and seen your art on the side of a building or in their parent or a neighbor or friends hanging up on their wall? What would you tell them about getting started? What, what is it like? Um, what would you what would you tell a young aspiring artist? A young aspiring artist, I would I would tell them that anything is possible. Um, I remember at six six years old saying uh, leaving. I remember this like yesterday. I, I was leaving Toys R Us, and my stepfather asked me what I wanted to be when I grew up. And I said an artist. Had no idea what it would take to be an artist, um, but I will also tell parents, uh, it's very important to cultivate skills and see your children um, at an early age and support them. Uh, my parents have always supported me from the beginning, so I always received art supplies and art sets at an early age. And when I would go to my grandmother's house and parents' house, I always took my art sets with me even in the school system. So Ashley talks about being a teacher. My teacher supported me and they would tell my mom like, he's a smart kid, he does his work, but he's always drawing and painting, you know? Um, so I would pass that, pass that message along to parents and, and young people that anything's possible. Ashley, what about you? Okay, there I am. Um, I would definitely say to the parents to encourage your kids and don't let them get a little messy you know let them if they're messy like I was let them go out in the grass you know <laughs> and don't tell them they can't make money at this y'all you can yeah. make money yes. art, you know I wish there was more people in my family who said go ahead girl paint pick up that paintbrush at an earlier time now I have them calling like 
I saw you on TV. I know I've been telling y'all I can paint, you know? But I think sometimes we, we always think the broke artist or the dead artist or, you know, we don't think that, especially now, after this pandemic, people are really realizing the power of art. Yes. Not only advertisement, but fine art is taking over in a lot of areas now because it really pulls on the emotions and really kind of has a, a galvanizing thing. A lot of other things cannot bring together. But I would definitely say to push them into that creativity, you know, allow them to explore. Don't even go get a bunch of expensive stuff. Get a bunch of junk and put it on the table and see what comes out of it. You know, there are there's so much creativity in our kids. And I hate to say it, we, we kind of like, we, we kind of like, you know, try to steer them, go be an architect, go be, no, go make whatever's on that table and allow that creativity to blossom because art has so much potential right now. Um, that's all I would say, keep pushing them to create, push them to be creative. Let them wear those tacky outfits. You know, I think back on those days when my mom was like, that does not go together, but let them wear it. Because yeah. it's part of who they are, you know, and I, as an adult, I'm constantly trying to find my inner child just to tap into where I can really go forward in my art. And um, that's something that we all need. So I would say keep encouraging, keep encouraging. Can you tell me what it felt like when you made the decisions to say, this is what I'm going to do? Like if, if something that you had all of your life, you talk, you both talk about for, even from a child, you you painted, you had your tools, but what was it like that moment where you said, you know what, this is my thing. This is my, I'm, my, my main focus. This is what I'm going to do. I'm good at it. And this is what I'm going to hang my hat on. Well, that moment for me uh, was, I was working in retail at the time and I hadn't painted in a very long time. I had, I had been collecting paint and someone came into, someone came and offered, I think he was selling a canvas or something. I said, well, I don't have any money. He gave me a canvas. And it was one day I was at home and I was bored and I saw the paint and I saw his canvas and I something said, well, paint over it. So I painted something and I gave it to my cousin as a housewarming gift. Long story short, everyone at his house was, they were like, who did that? That's awesome. You like my cousin, he paints. So they're like, I don't know, I didn't know you did that. So that that night kind of gave me like um, courage to do my first art show. Did my first art show like 2014. I invited all my family and friends. And from then on, I knew that was no turning back because everyone kept asking, when's your next show? When, when's the next thing? And then for me, like the priceless moments for me are uh, really getting involved in, in the community. So when I started going to like uh, youth shelters and doing things at the Juvenile Justice Center and just getting involved in countless ways with art, um, those moments are very dear to my heart. That's awesome. I, I think it's so awesome to see um, I'm, I'm looking at a question in the chat. Uh, Mr. Brown Ward said, so when is your next show? Capital I, capital S. When is your next show? So, so my next show will most likely, I've been doing a lot of pop-ups. Uh, so I haven't done like any shows lately um, because I'm noticing with the pop-ups, they really catch people's attention. So they people walk in and they're like, I was not expecting to see this. Um, and I get really good feedback because it's one-on-one. -on -one, it's just me uh, interacting with random people. Um, mm -hmm. So I'm thinking uh, Labor Day weekend will be down at the West Elm and Plum City Market. Okay. You heard it here first. The West Elm at Pont City Market. Labor Day. You'll see a lot of pink and green with some green. Um, we, we will be there. Um, I'm looking at you all and I am just all warm and fuzzy inside because oftentimes, I'm not gonna say my age, but hopefully the filter has taken off some of the gray hair. Um, when we learn about artists in school, we learned about artists that number one, didn't look like us. And then right. they were deceased. So to see you all um, young, vibrant, and alive, 
um, it just, I am just encouraged that more young people will see you all and be inspired and continue to create because um, I mean, in your bio, you talked about the, the ability to express yourself without words. Um, yes. And I think right now I have a, I'm a mom of a almost 17 year old and almost 12 year old. And with this virtual world, they've kind of created their own bubble in their rooms with their phones and their electronics. And so I just am thinking about how art can a allow them to express themselves. Because a lot of times my generation, we want to talk about it. We want to say what you're thinking, what you're feeling, what you're doing, tell me. But the ability to say, you know what, you can paint about it. You can draw about it. You can write about it. The importance of that, I could just think there's a huge opportunity. So I wanted to um, thank you for that. And my child was supposed to sign on to this, but I don't see his name. So we'll take care of that a little later. I see my mother here, mama. Call your grandson and have him log on to the chat. Okay. Um, uh, Anything else? I'm, I'm looking at the time and I could talk to you both all day long, but I, I want to respect your time. Um, we're going to go into the personalized portion of this event where we will turn it, give the floor over to Emmy to showcase his work. He'll show you what he has to offer, has to offer. and then followed by Emmy, we'll have Ashley. So if you have any questions for them, we we'll put it in the chat. We also right now have their social media contacts and their website so you can start following them so we can get on top of these pop-up shows and so we can start procure this art and allow our um, circles to see what we have to offer. First, but I'm gonna have one first. I didn't give Emmy much of a heads up with that. So we can, do you need me to, I can, I can keep talking Emmy if you want, I'm a talker. Are you, are, you, are we okay? Yes, we're okay. I'm just gonna, I'm going to share my screen really okay. fast. And I'm going to start with my PowerPoint. Sure thing. Um, you should have the ability to share your screen. Yes. One yes. Second. There we go. So this is my artist statement. A lot of um, this has already been said. I'm just gonna the main point, the main reason for this uh, slideshow is to showcase the work and the meanings and the prices, and then my assistant will um, actually show the pieces in real time. So the first piece that I created for you guys was specifically for this event. I wanted to dedicate this piece to the AKA sorority. Um, so I really thank you guys for having me. Uh, really excited to be here. Uh, so I created this piece in my aesthetic. Uh, it's 30 by 40. Uh, the price for this piece is $400. Uh, I will have all the details provided in the last slide for purchasing and that things. But there are, there are also 25 prints of this piece. There, it will be framed. Uh, the frame is 16 by 20. Um, there'll be $80 and I am donating one frame, one frame print to the sorority. Um, so I will get that over to uh, Autumn uh, in a few days. Uh, the next piece is a vision of clarity. Uh, this piece is pretty large, uh, $500. And I also want to say that uh, specifically for this event, I have uh, specially, I, some of these, most of the pieces are specially priced. So if you go to my website, you'll notice that for the event, these are much cheaper um, than on my website. Uh, there is nothing quite as intense as the moment of clarity when you suddenly see what's really possible for you. Contented being uh, is 30 by 40, this one is $400. Um, contentment or the state of being content is about peaceful satisfaction. It involves appreciating what you have and where you are in life rather than wishing things were different. Uh, this is one of my favorite pieces here. This is clear satisfaction. Uh, this one is 24 by 48, uh, priced at $400. A satisfied life is better than a successful life because our success is measured by others but our satisfaction is measured by our own soul 
mind and heart. Love power here. This is a uh, beautiful pink. I was inspired to create this one uh, a few months ago. I uh, love power, 30 by 40. Always remember that you can be mystical, magical, and physically phenomenal. Um, hues of blue. This one is 30 by 40. $400. This painting was simply inspired by the color blue. Blue offers a tranquil presence and symbolizes trust and loyalty. Um, then I have three pieces that are priced at two fifty. This is one of one of my uh, first events that I had at Punk City Market. Um, so it's three of them priced at two fifty. Um, and Uh, Sweet Escape, 24 by 30, Start Your Distractions and Feed Your Focus. We have So Ambitious, Ambition is the Path of Success. Persistence is the vehicle we drive in. And Live the Life, 24 by 30, Give Your Life with Full Vigor and Charm. I'm sorry, this not just the last and then um, come down this way and just show each one individually. So um, these are the art purchasing instructions. Anyone that's interested in purchasing art, um, they can send a text to my phone number here, uh, state what piece you're interested in. If you would like a framed AKA print, uh, please note there are only 24 left at the moment, this one person has already hit me up in advance. Um, they will be either mailed out within one week or delivered locally. Um, commissions are open for those wanting original art uh, and we will discuss that. Um, a 50% deposit is required. Um, my cash app is at the bottom and my Zelle. Did you show this piece also? And thanks for having me. Also, um, my assistant is showcasing some pieces uh, in real time on Zoom as well. If anyone has any questions, um, they can chat with me as well. Emmy, can she get a little closer so we can see the textures of the, um, yes. I am selfishly shopping right now. So if anyone has any questions, please put them in the chat. Uh, I have a question. The piece on the easel, correct me if I'm wrong, that's the piece inspired for Alpha Kappa Alpha, correct? Correct. Okay, we have two inquiries right now on the Alpha Kappa Alpha, but that is three inquiries right now. Um, someone is rethinking their whole life. So um, this is a very, uh, this is a very, very popular piece. Um, Emmy, correct me if I'm wrong, this is available with the actual piece as well as prints. Correct. Yeah, so we have one original that's on the easel, and then we have 25 frame prints. They are 16 by 20 and $80 each. Okay, that is my mother in the chat calling me by my hometown name of Nikki. I got it, mom. <laughs> <laughs> I, I got it, mom. I got it. <laughs> okay. Um, sorry, you all. That is beautiful. And yes. what is the name of this piece right here again? This this piece here, uh, let's see here. Clear Satisfaction, 24 by 48. Okay. 
Beautiful. Now, these other pieces, are they available as prints as well or solely the frame pieces that we see here? Uh, most of each piece is available for a print. Ooh, okay. The AK print, AKA print is a very hot item with the chat. Remember we... I, there are 25 or 24. 24. So it looks like we have right now 23, 22, 21, 20, 19, 18. Oh, okay. We have some numbers going on. Your assistant may have to help because I don't want to. Um, and if anyone, just, just, just so that everyone knows, if anyone would like this piece recreated for them, uh, like, like an original, I can do that as well. I will give Sorori's print for me too. What is the best way for your assistant to capture those that are saying they want the print? Is it best for them to say they want the print and their name? Yeah, everyone, everyone can chat with me individually. Send Sounds me good. Send me a I message. don't want to mess this up, but you have my you have my information though, right? I have um Yeah, we, we talk. If everyone send me a chat individually, and then I will okay. start, I will start uh taking notes and <laughs> just if there's any questions, just send him a message in the chat box instead of saying to everyone just yeah. select his name, E Marshall Correct. from the chat box. That's beautiful. Thank They're you. all beautiful. I want one of everything. Okay, Pat Reese, I have your number. That's my mom. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we got it. I promise. Okay. Okay. Yes. yes, yes. And is everyone on this Zoom local in Atlanta or will we have every um, more people that are? I think, I know for one, my mother does not live here. She's in Tennessee, but if you need to bring it to me, I'm sure she will say that I will get it to her. Okay, awesome. Um, so looking at everyone else, if you're not from Atlanta and have some requests, please make sure you document that in the chat, please. A um, This is one second. I'm going to do one more thing. Okay. Uh, for everyone that would like a print. I got you, Cynthia. <laughs> oh, this is that one. Uh, okay. That's pretty. Hi, Emmy, this is Tia McCullers. Do you need any help um, getting those names out of the chat or are you okay? Yes, I just had everyone, uh, I'm gonna, it, it's gonna work easier if everyone just send me a text. Okay. I put my number in there for everyone to text me. Okay, cool, great. And, I'll, and I, will give, we, we, I will give Pat Reese a call after this is over with. <laughs> okay. <laughs> 
One thing we did not expect, I don't think, it was our uh, personalized, customized <laughs> painting. So we are super excited about that. And I'm, it's going to be, you're going to move those prints really quickly. Once we open it up and let everyone know what they, what they missed who weren't on here, they're going to snag those up. So if you're on here, you want one. It would be in your best interest to go ahead and send Emmy a message now. So yeah, because I'm going to reserve. I'm going to start reserving them and then uh, getting them framed and sent out. That's great. Is there okay. anything else you'd like to add, Emmy, while we're um, waiting on? I'm sorry, waiting on the next artist. Is there anything else that you would like to add? Anything you wanted to say that you didn't get a chance to say? Um, that is it. I just thank you guys for having me. Uh, um, and, a, and a new set of a new set of eyes for my work is always priceless. Yes, you have a lot of eyes on. Now, is there anyone else? If they have a question, you can put it in the chat, and we can be sure to ask Emmy that. I know Emmy. Um, we, we you did talk about connecting to and encouraging the younger artists. My daughter's an artist. Um, I'm trying to get her more out there. You know. Okay. She, okay. It, okay. It, she takes art. She's always been an artist and she's very secretive about her work. Meaning yes. uh -huh. she, I can't uh -huh. go in the sketchbook. Uh -huh. You know, if you can't see things before it's done, I can't go into the iPad on Procreate. You know, it's a whole, it's a whole thing. She's so, protecting her process. Yes. And it's, I mean, I'm like, come on, just let me see. Mom, you cannot. She has specific sketchbooks she likes that have to have a specific weight of paper and a specific, like she's, you know, has to have it her way. So mm -hmm. how do I encourage her with her being, a, you know, a natural artist to um, put it out there more, to be more confident in her work? Because you know how sometimes when you have a gift, you think it's no big deal. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, right, I'm, right. Like, I tell her, I'm like, Reagan, people can't draw like this normally. You know, she thinks it's no big deal. So what, how do you encourage her? Or how should I encourage her to, you know, to be able to- I think the best, I think the best way is right now is getting her with other people her age, like art camps and, mm -hmm. you know, getting around and they, they can communicate, they can talk and- encourage each other and then she'll get more comfortable. I went to a few art camps growing up mm -hmm. um, and I was actually told at one point that I couldn't, I couldn't draw, I couldn't paint and all this and I was going to stop. But one of my aunts was like, you better not, you better not, you can draw, you can paint. Um, so I would say get her around more people that are doing the same thing she's doing um, and go from there. That's good. Yeah, that's good. Because she doesn't want me peeking over her shoulder right now. So I just, <laughs> let, her, I just let her do her thing for right now. <laughs> I got you, Gail. Gail Bullock, I got your number. So Ashley, were you, did you attend art camps and things like that? Was that also helpful for you as well to, you know, be around? Yes, it was absolutely helpful. Um, I took art and dance at Spelman when I was younger. And I also, I think the most thing that helped was just being around artists, professional artists. So, you know, just getting, um, like I got to meet Barnett P. Honeywood and Annie Lee. And, you know, you get to go in their studios and you see how they move and how they process and how they think. And, you know, that is what really, I think that pushed me even more than art camp because it got, it let me see like how it functions, you know, from the very bare bones to putting out that proposal to, you know, how it gets to where it's, everybody knows that piece. So I think it's very important um, to, for kids to see artists in action pretty much. That's good. See artists in action. Right. So there's <laughs> my mural i'm sorry i didn't mean to cut you off no go ahead mural her story on goodwill i actually had 50 um girls from ages eight until shoot some of them were 65 out there and we it was supposed to be a one-day thing but people kept coming back i said okay let's go we're gonna do this you know so mm -hmm. 
it is a good experience to be able to actually get in there and learn. You know, I try to teach my teenagers how to put in a proposal now. You don't have to wait till you graduate. You don't have to wait till you go to school for it. You know, now is the time to really get involved in the art and participate in your community. Find out where the art calls going on. Does your library need art, especially for kids, teenagers? That they can make their signature now so people know who they are. Okay, that's good. I wish she was here. To, she's at Six Flags. <laughs> I was, I was I'm she, at Disney World, so I understand. <laughs> I'm at good. Disney World, so I totally understand. Um, <laughs> I think I have, uh, once I present, I think I have a slideshow that has, it shows some of the young girls who just helped me on the skate park mm -hmm. in Joyland. And, you know, sometimes I pay them, sometimes I don't, just depending on my budget. But, right. um, once they learn the skill, I absolutely pay them because I can almost send them there without, when I'm not there and say, hey, can you get this part of my picture um, done? Or can you do this part? And some of them, I even see like specialties. Like mm -hmm. some of my kids are really good with words. Some of my kids are really good with faces. Um, some of my kids are great with colors. Mm -hmm. And so even the ones I teach in school, I like, I'm not going to be here next year, but you'll take my number down, you know, <laughs> come out and paint because we're going to develop this thing. So by the time you're 21 and I'm 50, you know, you can come show me what you've done on the wall. So I say take initiative now, you know, and there's a lot of rejections, but who cares? You keep on going, you know, right. Keep painting. Right. So on your website, Ashley, do you have um, where all of your artwork is currently displayed? Yes. Like if, I, if I wanted to drive my daughter through the city or wherever, like, I need a map to kind of take her to these places. Okay, absolutely. So I actually have, um, I have a billboard on the side of Weston Peachtree Hotel, which is, you know, where the sundial is. Mm -hmm. And it has my Dill Avenue mural, which is my favorite mural out of every mural. It's called Flight of the Fireflies. And okay. I took the community, the kids that were in that music program, and I blew them up super big. And I made them uh, playing their violins and trumpets and saxophones and all that stuff. And they have fireflies coming out of their instruments. And oh. it's basically supposed to be showing that these kids are the light of that neighborhood. That neighborhood has a negative connotation, but it's the children that have brought a light and a joy to an area that no one would ever think of. Um, so that's one of my murals. It's 883 Dill Avenue. Um, my other latest mural is Joyland Skate Park. And I was able to do some portraits of some of the 90-year-old women who live in Joyland. One of them I talked to for hours. And I mean, I just enjoyed talking to her so long. And I put her, they're back to back with the young people because I want them to know who's in their neighborhood. I think when I was growing up in the 80s, that's how it was, you know. You knew who made the best pound cake. You knew who <laughs> to go to for Thanksgiving afterward. And these yeah. kids didn't know it, but now, and I also, we also got skateboards. So I put on Instagram, hey, we need skateboards out here. So once we passed the skateboards out, in order to get the skateboard, I said, hey, what's her name over there? Or what's his name over there? So that they could know, you know, this is Miss So-and-so and she lives on this street. And, you know, that's what I'll miss. I want community to know each other again. So that one is at Joyland, in Joyland. If you don't know where Joyland is, because a lot of people don't, it is off of Prior Road. It's right by that kind of fairly new library. It's okay. Arthur Langford Skate Park. Okay, I put those two places in the chat. <laughs> and uh, there's a lot of them. I have one at, um, I have, my first one was at Frederick Douglass High School. It's in the basement. And I, I restored it. And then I added more things to that mural. Then I've done, um, oh my goodness, I'm trying to think of all of them. Cleveland Avenue is right now it's being restored. I have a Cleveland Avenue mural there also with some of the older people in the community and some of the younger folks in the community. It's called the cross, the crosswalk because a lot of kids walk to that school right there, Hutchinson Elementary. And um, I'm trying to think uh, some more that you guys would like to go see. Um, we have one also in one across from M. Agnes Jones on the side of that uh, corner store, right down the street, kind of like from Morehouse's gym. Okay. Um, and then we have, I'm getting a blank, y'all, because I'm out in this hot sun, but <laughs> a bunch of them, y'all. It's a bunch of, oh, we're doing one for Haroon. 
one of the street groomers who used to like watch out for the community. He would wait with the with the kids at the stop signs and stuff out there in um what would you Bankhead and West End, make sure nobody was messing with the kids early in the morning. Like he started oh, wow. this really like grassroots community organization. So we're working on that one now on Bankhead. Um and oh uh, we're also doing one in Brown Middle School. It's not Brown Middle School anymore, but we're doing some in there. We just finished their dance room. And I actually had teenagers come out and help with that. So I have a lot of murals, guys. That, oh, the West End Animal Clinic. So if you're going down Ralph David Abernathy, I did that whole building. Front, side, back, fence, um, all over the West Side. I have a lot of them in the, on the West Side. I also just did one at the art place, though by Sandy Spring, Sandy Plains. It's up in Cobb County, right behind the art place called The Art Place, Mountain View. So I'm kind of running through guys. But did you do it at the Black the Coffee? Like a, I did. a coffee I, shop? I, I forgot about that. I just did that too. That's how much I've been working. So there's I some, did one. There's some, oh, there's some source took a picture in front of there. So um, recently. Yes, it is John Lewis. And he's looking over, he's in the clouds, looking over Keisha Lance Bottoms and um, trying to think who of John Ossoff. And it's kind of just like a, a nod to our ancestors to let them know, you know, we're going to carry this torch on. And if you go in there, people have been posing in front of it right there at Black Coffee. Okay. This is awesome. I mean, your art really is, 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 a, is a bridge, like your art bridges art <laughs> in the community that's amazing and that's what i'm really trying to do i really want my students and my kids and people my age to know the old folks you know that that mural on on the side of goodwill is probably the closest to my heart right now because i have a willie Watkins mother on there and she i didn't even know this i started painting and her son came out and told me that she used to go in that goodwill to get clothes for people who died who didn't have proper burial clothes Oh, wow. And she would find them, stay in there for hours and get the nicest stuff for them. And he, she also helped him get the loan to start that funeral home. So these are those kind of like hidden heroes that we have right amongst us. Mm -hmm. um, also, we have Lottie Watkins, who I didn't even know about. And so I started doing research and the first black um, real estate um, agent in Atlanta. And she was also a big voter rights, um, big voter rights advocate. Um, we just have so many people that, or, or, or Pearl Clegg, you know, everybody knows that she's a writer, but she also wrote speeches, speeches for politicians. So we have so many women who just have really tilled the ground. They've gone and they've done the work and, and she's, and right now up on the screen, you'll see um, the last four of my collages. They're, they're going like hotcakes, but I'll have some more soon. But these collages are made from some really top interior design um, fabrics and also different paints. And it's very, it's very mixed media. So the story behind these collages, and you'll see them in the recent home magazine. Um, the story behind the collages is that my, my grandmother lost her sight to glaucoma when I was younger. And when I was in high school, I went to an alternative school and my teacher had me painting very thickly. Um, and I would bring the paintings home and have my grandmother run her hands over it so she can feel it because she couldn't see it. So now I've gotten back into it and I love it. I love the collages. I love, you know, being able to feel the textures and see all of that, the rhythms and things that are going through the painting. So all of these are for sale. Um, these, these that are being shown right now are 500 a piece and they are originals. I don't do any prints because I want you to feel that texture. I want you to feel those fabrics I want you to be able to um, really connect with the different layers of patterns that are going on. Okay, um, Ashley, just let me know um, if you're ready for me to progress to the next one. Yes, you can go to the next one. This one with Esperanza Spalding, you can go to the next one. Okay. And this one is close to my heart as well, guys. Um, it's, it's also 500, but this one, is, I had a cello growing up. I played cello for about 12 years. I could still play right now if I picked it up, but I had a yellow cello and I just thought it was so special. I had a yellow cello, it was like a yellow mustard color. And I just love this little girl because she just got her fro going and she just was so confident. And, you know, I just love to see us be excellent. And this is what it means to me, um, this picture. 
So this is my picture, my mustard cello picture. It is for sale, but it's very close to my heart, y'all. So I might come peek in your window and look at it if you buy it. <laughs> you can go to the next one. You went to the next one, Autumn? Yes. Okay. Let's see if it'll turn. Can you see it, Ashley? This is beautiful. Uh -huh, I see the cello one still. Let me see. It's still the cello. Yep. We saw the cello and we saw Esperanza as well. Okay, this one's another one that, you know, really just speaks to, um, oh, go back to that one. Go back to the one with the sunshine uh, rays behind her. Or we can start with this one if, it'll, if it won't go back. There it is. So this one is on wood actually, and you can't let's see you can see it here, but it's actually very beautiful in person because you can see um, and feel once again the textures of the wood that it's on. And it's just about being beautiful and letting that sun letting the sun rays hit your face and you know being confident as a as a black woman and this that's what this piece is about. <laughs> And it's also 500. All my originals are 500. Um, you can go to the next one. And I will have many more coming up soon. Um, by the end of August, early September, I should have some more. Um, I, I have a studio space in the Mint which is at the Met, um, if you guys are familiar with West End, where the goats used to be. And I also have a contact session on a, a contact se section on my website where you guys can contact me. I definitely go above and beyond to, you know, hit your request, um, anything that you need. If you need a mural, my mural started at $5,000. And I can absolutely paint anything, but I love to tell a story, y'all. That's why it's called Tapestry Mural. So this is the last um, collage right here. And I think she is just awesome and beautiful. She's so vibrant with so many textures and patterns and all of the good stuff. So Ashley, I have a couple questions in the chat. Um, yes. This piece is kind of um, small for the me. The size of the piece? Is. Yes, this piece is a 24 by 36, which is pretty small for me. Typically, I paint pretty large. Um, and so are the other ones, the, the cello piece and the Esperanza Spalding piece as well. Okay, and they all are 500? Yes. Okay. And they are all originals. There's no um, print. I don't make prints of my work, mostly because I want you to be able to feel those textures and be able to really interact with those textures. <laughs> Yeah, I'm looking through the chat to make sure I didn't miss any. And also we have, um, I'm trying to think of some more of the murals. I have a mural in Deerwood Academy. I, I did their whole atrium area when you first walk in. It's called the Sky's the Limit. And we have the children um, displayed and, and all of the IB characteristics on that one. I have successes in your hands at, um, i trying to think of the name of the school. It's a middle school off of, yes. They are, they are on my website. So you guys can definitely contact me there. There's um, an email there and there's a phone number there as well. If you would like to take down my phone number, it is 770-256-9862. I also can do custom collages for you if you would like um, your mother or your grandmother or I don't know, maybe an old house that you grew up in. If you want a collage, Thank you for putting that up there. Um, just let me know. And also I do like groups, group murals. So with my group murals, um, you guys wanted to do your chapter, come out and paint a mural. You guys could find the wall and I would give everyone in that group a spot to paint in. If you go to my website, you'll see on her story, you'll see a bunch of girls, some of them on ladders, some of them on lifts and Everybody had a spot. It's almost like doing a, putting a puzzle together. And I'll show you how to paint. Doesn't take a lot. Don't think that you can't paint or anything like that. 
My social media is at Ashley D Paints. A S H L E Y D Paints. And I live in East Point, so whoever just said that would be great for East Point College Park, please call me. I would love to do that. Have a bunch of women out there painting and making the making the wall beautiful. Ashley, Ashley that is our service area um, that we serve. Our chapter serves East Point and College Park. So when you're saying that, I'm sending sending a mental message to my arts co-chairman Saratia, saying that we that would be a great um, community art event to bring in with Pace and Akadets and I'm. I'm I'm planning ahead for the next one. We're not even finished with this one here, but I'm, awesome. I'm thinking ahead. That that would be amazing. So we the contact information I see for Emmy, his Instagram is on here for Painted by Emmy. I see Ashley's information here. Ashley, is there, am I missing anything else that you wanted to showcase or share? Uh, okay, unshare the screen. Let me see if I can share my, my video. Okay. Sorry, y'all. I'm like trying to do a thousand things right now. Hold on one second. I'm going to try really hard to do this. Give me a second. Okay. I'm going to try because I made a, a nice video. Sure Let's see if you're doing that. Um, I will, we're, if anybody has any questions for either one of our artists, please place those in the chat. Make sure if you have any questions about the contact information, we can make sure we're posting that again. Just a moment, I'm trying to see if it will share my video. If it won't, I'll put it in the um, chat box. If you want to, um, okay, you're gonna put the video in the chat box. If you put it in the chat box, I may be able to click it and then share it from there. My technology help, please let me know if I've spoken to, if I've said too much, if that won't happen, but just let me know. In just a moment, guys. Sure thing. This has been amazing, everyone. I am excited and about to spend a lot of money. Okay. Nope, I can't do it, but I will put it on here. Sorry, guys. Nope, nope, no problem at all. If you will um, email that to me, I can send it out um, under separate cover with this and we, we can go forward from there. Um, okay. I wanted to spend a few moments to open that up to see if we have any questions from anyone else, anything that we did not answer. I see the contact information has just been refreshed and added so that we can contact Emmy and Ashley. And I, I, I feel real special. I don't know about you all. I've never met an artist that just gives you their cell phone number and says, call me, text me um, ever <laughs> in my life. So thank you all um, for spending some time with us and also allowing us to contact you. We, I appreciate that. Um, Emmy, the question for you is, you touched on this a little earlier. Um, can either of you, Emmy or Ashley, please talk a little bit about the role art has played in civil rights, the, the role art itself has played in civil rights, politics, and creating cultural change? Oops. So um, definitely, I, I know for a fact that art has played a big role in creating cultural change. Um, one of the first first murals I did was on Metropolitan. It was a vote like you mean it sign. And um, it it shows, it, it kind of gives us a reminder. It's just like a billboard. Chick-fil-A reminds us every day to eat Chick-fil-A. They put those cows everywhere. They remind us, they remind us. So it's our job as artists to remind people what we're really supposed to be here for. You know, we're running from job to job. We're making these deadlines. We're doing this, we're doing that. But we can't forget what our purpose is and what our community has done and what we can still do. So in, in, my, in my way, also as a teacher, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a reminder of our history. So nobody wants to read a history book anymore, but guess what? They're gonna look at that mural and they're gonna try to, they're gonna take their phone and they're gonna QR code and find out who is this lady, you know? Maybe it was your neighbor that you've been living next to for 20 years and you didn't even know that she did such and such a thing. So it's very important. Art really does give us, um, it also just makes you smile, you know? It's, it's nothing like seeing good color and beautiful things as you're going from place to place. So um, I think that it's, it's important for our, it's not just, decoration. It's important for our psyche, who we are, what we will become as a people. 
Wonderful. Actually, I even noticed in some of your art, when one of the, it's one, it's different, you know, they say, um, you can look at an art piece several different times and you can get something different from it each time. Um, something as simple as I was looking at the women and I was like, I like her nose, her nose looks like mine. It's just little things like that, seeing yourself in the art that is displayed can have a, a huge impact on our, on our youth. Um, being able to express yourself. I keep coming back to that with Emmy because I think that's just so important. So, so, so important. So being able to express yourself and being able to see yourself in, it, in an art piece, visual, you know, with a concrete piece like a nose, but also in a, the emotion in the brush strokes um, in, in an abstract piece. Um, I, what I love about abstract art is it can be whatever you want it to be, whatever you see it is at that time. I think all of us that were wanting that pink and green piece there was something different that each one of us saw. There was something that each one of us could relate to. There was, um, and I think um, sometimes, Emmy, you might've led us there a little bit telling us what you saw with the blues. And I'm like, okay, but I see that, but I see something else too. I, I just came back from the beach two weeks ago. So I see a little bit of the ocean. And so, but I, I love how we can, the representation can be different places and things and pieces of time in each piece. So can either you speak to that? Um, but that's, that's my own interpretation, but you all, are the artist. <laughs> was that a question for me or for Emmy? I couldn't hear. Either one of you. I, I was trying to see who was going to say something. I see both of oh. you on my screen and I, I didn't know. I was um, muted, uh, but okay. I was going to say that's the beauty of, um, of abstract art for me. That's what I love about it. So when I go so my, um, a friend of mine, we lived together. He purchased about three pieces of mine, but when we have um, gatherings and people over, we have a piece in the kitchen and I love how people will sit around and they're like, no, 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 I see, look right here. I see, I see this, I see that, or I see a face. And I just did a piece for another client. And when he got it, he said, immediately I see a face, like it's a profile, you know? And then I, he, wanted, he had me do two more to match it, to complement it. So now he has three and he's like, I see the faces, I see the faces. So I, I sent him the piece that I did for you guys uh, for this event tonight. And immediately he's like, I see your face, I see it. <laughs> I just love the fact that we can talk about art versus talking about each other in a negative light. Sometimes we, yes. I, I love the fact that we can have a positive conversation about a piece versus something that just may not um, be to our betterment. So I, I correct, appreciate correct. that. Um, thank you. So to Emmy and to Ashley, we thank you, we thank you, we thank you. This has been a first, but I, I pray that it won't be the last time we see you. I believe that we will be in your inbox and in your DMs um, digging into our pockets um, for the foreseeable future. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, at this point, if there are no further questions, I'd like to turn it over to our vice president, Ms. Suzette Thank you so much, uh, Autumn, for your work tonight in moderating this event. Let me just do a couple of um, things uh, to our audience. Um, for everyone that attended, let me just thank you so much uh, for your attendance and your energy. Um, I think I was busy shopping too, so um, thank you for that. I wasn't expecting to spend some money, but I did, and I have some more pieces. To our uh, president, Ms. Zodra Brown Ward, thank you for your vision with this amazing organization and allowing this committee to go uh, free reign and just bring creativity to our chapter. To the members of Ty Epsilon Omega, thank you so much for your continued support of our program events. Um, we are nothing without your, your full support and you have been there through this year with us. To our chairman, Autumn Lewis, Tia McCullers, thank you. You guys are simply amazing. Your vision, your creativity, what you bring to the table. Thank you for one, inspiring us with this creative presentation and this creative format, but two, the energy that you bring to the art. I think art can take on a lot of different um, forms and you guys have um, enticed us this year and I know we have more to come. Um, and finally, to Ashley, 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 and Emmy. My God, you guys, wow. Thank you. You have beautiful work. 
Your energy is radiating. Thank you for showing up and sharing with us what has inspired you, um, what has allowed you to become this. Um, you stepped on my toe a little bit when you talked about allowing our children to wear whatever they want to wear. You did step on my toe because I'm always like, what are you wearing? So thank you for that for me because it, it, it I learned something here to just release and let that creative energy flow um, with her because she it, it's always creative. So thank you so much. Um, and thank you for showing us your work. Um, Emmy, thank you for creating a special piece for us. I don't think You're we've welcome. had and, and I am excited about that. <laughs> um, and as you can tell by the, uh, the the chats and the cash apps or the Zales, whatever we were doing, um, people loved it. So I am so excited about this. And I do hope that we can bring you guys back in another forum to show um, not only our members, but the community your amazing work. Uh, we have a lot of events throughout the year and we would love to continue to partner with you. Thank you everyone for joining us tonight. Um, art is a passion of ours. It is a huge target for Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated. We will continue to pursue this passion um, and opportunities like tonight is a great way to do it. Again, thank you to everyone that has joined us. It has been my honor. Thank you and everyone have a good Saturday evening. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Don't forget to visit our amazing artists. And Emmy said he was going to be Labor Day weekend at West Elm City Marketplace. So join him there. I will be there. I'm sending it right now. Who's calling Emmy asking about their piece? Probably my mom. <laughs> yes, I'm going to send that right now. Please don't forget to fill out the survey. I'm dropping it in the chat. Okay, okay, bye -bye. okay. okay. please fill out the survey. It's in the chat. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Makita, for the survey. I'm gonna play some music for a minute for people to get the survey and fill it out. You're amazing, thank you. I want to love you unconditionally Whenever you need me, baby, me call on me I want to love you unconditionally But you gotta take it slow, take it gradually There's a request from Sora Audra for the playlist. Yes, that absolutely. is very good. It's absolutely. very good. I, just send it to me too. Okay. <laughs> I want to love you unconditionally. I do 
perfect by me, yeah, yeah, the lost in Miami. Don't make things complicated, and I dream and exercise patience. I'm what the way time and enigma. I'm out of shape, I'm an amoeba, yeah. Need you more than you need me. Nobody said love is easy. Don't give up, I don't leave me. Got this morning, we go. Champagne stripper, uh-huh. we'll go decker, no. she Not need moolah Mud! Sir Audra, we absolutely do. Two point one day, I wanna talk about the things. I wanna talk about the things where they feel. I know they say what I know me. Okay, guys, are we done with the survey? Okay. Thank we are. Thank you so yeah. much. You are welcome. Thank you, Soros. Good wonderful. night, everyone. This was yes, great. fantastic job. Good night. Look, I don't want to wait. Go. Hold on one second, Mama. Uh-huh. Please, Mom, get off the call, please. We love you. <laughs> <laughs> Mommy, you're not. We see you. You have not left you again. <laughs> I think it's just sores on the call. <laughs> uh, Mokita's mom and uh, Autumn's mom, y'all need to get together. <laughs> yes, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I, I just to text my kid. I said, I said, if we put our mamas on the same call. <laughs> sores, y'all have a good night. Happy Saturday. <laughs> good night. Thank you, everybody. Good night. I'm going to go sit down good somewhere. Night. You did great. Fantastic. Thank you all for your help. I appreciate you. Okay. Bye. Bye Bye-bye.